Hey everybody, Asher here with another Star Sector Guide where today we're going to be talking about RAM or specifically how to modify your game so that you can allocate enough RAM in order to actually run Star Sector because if you install enough mods, Star Sector becomes a very system memory heavy game and you want to make sure you can actually run and not have things crash out. So first thing I want to pull up is a thread. I know it's an old thread from the Fractal Softworks forums, but it's very helpful here. Um, this is something where we can't download more RAM here, and we can't download more RAM in the Persian sector. So there are just some details here. Most important question is how much should you allocate? And they kind of have just kind of a guide here, frame of reference. I will leave this here. I will say very shortly, I use six gigabytes uh, for like regular system memory. And how do we actually do that? Well, I'll actually just go and show you real quick. There is this thing here, VMPA RAMs or VAMPA RAMs. And this is something that you're gonna have to do the good old fashioned open with thing. So you're gonna need administrator access for this. We're gonna open it, not with SNES 9X, that'd be terrible. And we get this thing, yay, it is a actual text file with a bunch of JavaScript mumbo crapo. And what this is saying right here is right now on a base star sector, say we are allocating uh, one and a half gigs of RAM and uh, of system RAM and two gigabytes of video RAM. Now, I'll be honest with you. I run on my series of star sector about 50 or so mods. I've been fine with having two gigabytes of video RAM. I have not adjusted that at all. I have a six gigabyte uh, graphics card, but I haven't needed to adjust that. It's the system RAM that's kind of the killer here. So once again, I'm gonna put this thing up just for frame of reference in case you need it. Um, try to go as high as you can. A lot of systems now uh, come with a, a plenty of RAM, but you know your own system. So if you're running it on something where you only have eight gigabytes total of RAM, just understand that Windows is still gonna be running in the background and is gonna eat up about half of that. So you don't wanna just have Star Sector take more than you can. But anyway, how you adjust this is very simple as well. But before we do that, I do want to go ahead and do one quick point to just help save you some headaches here. Before you update any of these files, always make a backup. There's two ways you can do this. You can obviously copy and paste it into another folder. Another thing you can do though is actually just go ahead and rename it. I like doing something like just underscore, you can't do open parentheses, but underscore old. Um, and obviously we need administrator access for that to do that. So. That way, if you screw up and want to go back to the old setting, you don't lose it. So we're gonna do this again. We're gonna go do 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 open with, and we're gonna open it with notepad again, because that's what we need to do. And I am gonna go ahead and just say here, we do have some RAM size options. Like I said, you know your own system. Here's your options. One and a half gigabytes, two, three, four, six. Other important details that you want these numbers to be the same thing. So I'm gonna do the full six gigabytes. I have 16 uh, gigs of uh, RAM here. I could go higher, but Star Sector doesn't really, even modded Star, Star Sector doesn't really need that much. Well, or maybe it does, I don't know. Your, your mileage is obviously gonna vary. But like I said, once we put this and this in here, I'm not changing the video RAM. You could do the same here, but personally I haven't found a need to. But then very simply, let's just go ahead and get rid of this excess stuff here. And uh, let's go ahead and save as. And we're gonna save this as VMP RAMs. Now, you're gonna see there's a problem here. It saves as a text document. And it's actually not gonna let us write there, which is very exciting. So, fun. All right, so after properly moving that text document over to the right folder, and once again, you will need admin access to do this if you are installing it in the default location of C program files 86 Fractal Softworks. You'll notice that this is a text document. Uh, VMPA RAMs or VAMPA RAMs, I guess we'll call it, is just a regular file. It has no extension on it. So that's a little bit of a problem because Star Sector is not gonna be able to read a text file. We actually need to amputate the text off of this. And the way you do that, let's actually look at the properties here real quick. One of the issues is if we try to open with this and change it, that's not gonna adjust anything. What we need to do, in fact, is to change it and make this so that it is not a text file at all. 
And I'll be honest with you, that is a little bit of a trick that maybe not everybody knows. And shh, don't tell anybody I started to make a video of something I forgot how to do. Let me show you how to do it. So pardon the interruption there. Now that the very scary delivery driver's gone, hopefully my little dog doesn't keep barking in the background here. Let's continue. So this is a text document. We need to fix that. This is on a newer version of Windows than when I first did this. So what you need to do is go up to the view area of Explorer and go to file name extensions, which is right here. Um, and you'll see that the .txt suddenly appears. And that's very simply all you need to do is to actually just remove this. You may get a warning prompt that says, are you sure you want to do this? Um, there we go. It may actually make it not work. But the thing is, is that we can't have this function or have it has a, a text extension on it. So we need admin access to change this again as well. And then just like that, it's a VMP, a R A M S Vampirams. And if we just try to open this with notepad, you'll see that nothing's changed. We have our new settings here. I'm now using six gigabytes of uh, system Ram instead of one and a half. And all of my mods have been running buttery smooth unless I have like a million fights in the system or a bunch of ships going after everything. By the way, if you want to have a game with a billion different fights or a bunch of ships in your system or more officers or more deployment points, I'm going to do a video guide for that next. But this is very simply how you change your stuff so that you can get some more Vampa Rams or get some more RAM to use for your system. You see that I'm holding on to the old file here, keeping it named as old. When we load up Star Sector, it should run. Please run. So far, so good. Usually if that file's broken, this won't even open. But just to be sure, let's go ahead and open our uh, Ludic Path map that I did before just to make sure. And suddenly, although there's not a great reliable way to check it here from anything, you press the V key to look at any mods that you're running. Um, we're now using six... Uh, gigs, I almost said megs, six gigs of uh, RAM. So we did in fact download more, no, no, no. Uh, we used more RAM for the system. However, I do wanna give one big warning. Do not change your file so that you are using more RAM than your system actually has. It'll lead to slowdowns, it'll lead to crashes. It could actually damage your system depending on your voltage settings for your RAM. Don't do it, there's no reason to do it. Um, it's much better if you just try to actually get more RAM physically than sit here and try to have the software thinks the computer has more than it has. But like I said, if you're running a modded save with a lot of mods, it's very important to know how to change the Vampirams, or the Vampirams setting. And now you know how. So this is Asher, thanks for watching. Like I said, I have another guide for how to change the general settings in Star Sector. That's gonna be coming up next. Thanks for watching, take care.